Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the live and exclusive coverage of the Pro Panja League ranking tournament. We're live from the Lakshmi Bai National Institute of Physical Education in Gwalior from the heart of India in Madhya Pradesh. This is the biggest physical education college in Asia and it's a privilege and honor to kickstart things for the Pro Panja League. I'm your host Sarthak. And joining me in the commentary box is Pradeep Singh, an arm wrestling expert. Pradeep, how excited and energetic do you feel getting this going? The first day, this is massive. Well, thank you, Sarthak, and a warm welcome to all. I'm about as much excited as one can get because India is about to witness one of the biggest tournaments in the world not just in india not just in asia but the biggest professional tournament in the entire world and the athletes have prepared for this day and they are definitely going to give it their all why not and we have 600 participants in this ranking tournament 180 of which will qualify for the finals we'll have six men's categories three women's categories and one specially abled category which one particular category are you most excited for pradeep i think i am definitely excited about all of the weight categories but the 90 kg men's category is the one that i'm most excited about the face of the pro panja league the guy karaj virk who has been occupying the most real estate on the posters of pro panja league is definitely going to be the favorite to win that weight category this is the one that i'm most excited about Certainly, and just to inform all our viewers, this is the College Pro Panja League to encourage students from across the country. And what a participation we're seeing! We're seeing people from Kashmir, from Jammu, from the south, from the northeast. Every corner of India has been covered by this beautiful, magnanimous, gigantic Pro Panja League. College students always that extra excitement that comes in, Pradeep. And definitely, this is the biggest opportunity by far that these students must be getting. And you can already see by their stance, they have done some practice. It is not like they are complete beginners of the sport. They know that the platform is going to be huge, so they have definitely put in the work, and it is showing on the table. Totally showing. And just to break down the basics from from a layman perspective, Pradeep, what is exactly going on here? We we've seen Panja. through our school days through our college days can you simplify the whole game for us from from a layman perspective so the basic rules that i would like to mention here is the first thing the most important thing is you always keep your elbows on the pad both the athletes need to keep their elbow on the pad the 7 by 7 square pad the elbow cannot be lifted above the pad neither can it go outside the perimeters of the pad this is the most important rule and you need to keep contact with your hand on the hand peg at all the times if you leave it and the referee sees that you are gaining an advantage he can give a foul so these are the basic rules other rules we will discuss as the tournament proceeds Right as you can see the college students there with the hand pegs being utilized as Pradeep mentioned the elbow pads you have to stick to them you cannot you know raise the elbows beyond that cert even even a little raise you will lead it into a foul we have the pin pads where the finishing moves are going to be utilized maximized and just speaking of finishing moves Pradeep can you tell us a little more about hooks or top rolls because that's what i've heard and there's something like press can you break down all of these So that's for sure we are going to break down in this match so this is a hook move and both of the athletes are going kind of going into the king's move there that is a very very professional advanced move both of the athletes are in the king's move and the athlete on the right side stands up and follows it up with a press so what eventually happened here was that the athlete was getting tired and the athlete on the right side stood up he used the entirely different muscle groups and pressed instead of pulling so that was that is why he got the easy victory there right and how much of this is technique oriented and how much of it has to do with the mind if you are just seeing these two athletes what would you tell them if you were to speak to them as a coach uh, how much of it is application of the mind from your understanding and how much of it is pure technique so the first thing is that arm wrestling is and it is forever going to be a strength sport so strength is the primary thing about 70% i would say is all strength and the rest 30% 
comes down to technique. So we can see that the guy on the right was much bigger than the guy on the left, at least upper body physique. Arm, his arms were much bigger, but the guy on the left, you can see he top rolled his wrist and he opened up his wrist. That is why he cannot use all of his power and he lost this match. So yes, it can come down to technique if the other guy is not polished enough. Technique can sometimes overcome strength in this sport. Right, and as they say, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog, and that clearly was visible there. The guy on your right had the size, but the guy on the left, even here, in fact, here it's the guy on your right, he doesn't have the size, but look at the fight in him. Look at the application of techniques, the form, the posture, the stance that Pradeep is speaking of, leading to that win. What a fine win that was. Was this the standout performance for you, Pradeep, up till now? Yeah, Bhure Singh definitely showed a great performance here. His ace move was clearly a top roll. None of the risks were surviving against his pronation power. That is why he was negating all of the power of his athletes and won this match kind of easily, so to speak. Right, without a doubt. And we have co-founder Parveen Dabas and we have Preeti Jangyani on your screen. These are our co-founders of the Pro Panja League special moments and here we can see the inauguration where things start something historic in the making and it only gets bigger it only gets better from here Pradeep yeah definitely Parveen Dabas following the tradition breaking coconut which is considered an auspicious moment in India totally and look who is in the house it's monster Michael Todd the 23 time world champion has arrived in Gwalior in support for the Pro Panja League. The monster in the house, Pradeep. Definitely the biggest star of arm wrestling, not just United States of America, but the entire world, as you already mentioned multiple times, world champion, and not just monster Michael Todd. His wife, Rebecca Todd, the beautiful Rebecca Todd, she is also a ferocious competitor and a great, great arm wrestler. Totally, and have you have you grown up idolizing this man? Because he's been an he's been a role model for so many who've taken up this sport. Definitely, he's not only an idol, but He's a true friend of mine as well. I've been talking with Monster Michael Todd, getting tips from him, how to train for arm wrestling, how to understand arm wrestling matches, how to assess different situations. And Monster Michael Todd is very humble. He always teaches me like a good friend. So good to see our co-founder Parveen Dabas with Monster Michael Todd and his wife Rebecca Todd and they will cut the ribbon, begin proceedings. It's such a special moment. Parveen engaging the crowd and the cheers are super loud. The energy is infectious. The atmosphere is electrifying. So good to see members of the Indian Arm Wrestling Federation cheering on and happy to see the inauguration. The big moment, the historic moment has arrived. A co-founder Parveen Dabas cheering the crowd on, Rebecca Todd cheering the crowd on and look at the support, look at the love. This is what we live for as admirers of the sport. And we can thank the Indian Arm Wrestling Federation and its officials and members as well for allowing us to have such an important and awesome arm wrestling tournament where Michael Todd is now addressing the athletes during this seminar. Right, and when you look at Michael Todd's beard, it's an intim intimidating beard and look at those arms. I mean, what is most scary to you, Pradeep? Those big sized arms or his beard? I would definitely say that when I looked at Monster's arms, those were quite clearly intimidating, not so much his beard. And rapper Ahmad Ali Mirza is in the house who has written and composed the song, the theme song for Pro Panja League, rapping to it. And look at the applause, look at the cheer, what a tune, what symmetry and what what do you think? He's also going to compete, right Pradeep? Yes, Sarthak, he's also going to compete and I would like to let everyone know that this moment is a special. The world is seeing this for the first time, rap song about arm wrestling. Right, the theme song of the Pro Panja League by Ahmad Ali Mirza being cheered on by our co-founder Parveen there. Let's slip into a quick break here, we'll be back on the other side.